Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Deb Ruder Creek. I'm your host, Mr. French Empire Level, but we gotta talk about Maurice Verlet's address, the address of Darnam. Fifty years have passed since we've consolidated our power in North Africa in the Confederate Conference of Marseille. Or Marseille. Yeah, the situation of the French African authorities has never been more dire. The great magnates of France seek to exploit the land and local populace and construct a railroad across the Sahara, but their efforts have caused massive uproar among the local tribal leaders who crave either equal rights in the Pyram realm or total freedom. A radical plan to solve the native issue is a union plan which would grant these citizens equality and integrate them into the French state. The plan is popular among liberals, but will require large amounts of resources on political maneuvering. Your decision will likely apply to other policies of the French Sub-Saharan administration and will shape the future of our African colonies for the coming decades. Sincerely, Maurice Villa. We must protect the integrity of the Empire. Approve the railroad. As we are now currently doing what we are doing down here. Appointing the Chief of Chief Field Marshal. France's army is massive, but it needs to be reformed in line with the tactics of the day. And construct the Trans-Saharan Railroad. The Trans-Saharan Railroad will connect our colonies of France, or uh, <coughs> Africa, and provide valuable transportation across the desert, as we are solely going to be watching the world kind of go a little kaboom. And we're lucky when it goes a little bit kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Beautiful. See how much we can do with the African stuff before they all die. Uh, there goes those guys. Crush tribal resistance. Yes. Our colonial administrations are plagued by growing resistance from tribes and militias and corrupt officials. We must crush all who oppose the French Empire. Remove travel, uh, revolt as well as overstretched colonial administration, non core manpower. Nice. It is, of course, 1939. The World War has not broken out yet, but we have a feeling things are going to be breaking out pretty darn soon. Better already? Oh, yes, please, because right now we have 18 combo with, which is not bad at all. Don't get me wrong. Plenty of guns, plenty of already. I do want to use some of these tanks, though. 18 combo with, which is okay. Uh, honestly, logistics would probably be good. I kind of want armored recon, Prussia demand Silesia. And things are going to go up, up Crap Creek right now, probably, too. It's going to lower resistance, but that's fine, whatever. All we have are infantry for now, which is fine. Alright, so these guys are going to be killing each other now, anyways. Let's go and maybe start stocking up on a little bit of fuel as we talk about uh, some of the comments as well. Very soon, though. Alright, so the world is pooping itself now. Um, decisions. That's not bad. It represents total war, raging fire. Uh, colonial investments can't do anything about that. Region. Your more integration. Oh, war economy. Just don't even think about it. Just go and click on that one. Uh, we need more millies. We'll be real here. We need straight more millies. Get our own fuel refineries if we can as well. As I don't mind building up more infrastructure here, but it's just going to take some time. Um, two and level one, two. Can't build anything down there, unfortunately, but we can build another airbase down there, too. And grab another civvy, so we can keep treating these things away. Are we missing anything? No, we're doing okay-ish for now. We definitely, definitely, definitely more fuel, though. Um, yes. Yes, and our next Grand Marie. Charles de Gaulle's reform. Excavation be good. Get some more fuel. It is 1939. Keep grabbing that for now, too. We can only get one enough political power day. It's very nice. Oh, Prussia's doing not super well right now. Oh, they're doing okay. It's kind of a mixed bag. Austria broke through here very quickly, though. But then Russia's gonna go to war, too. Has the time come? Carl's requested us to join the war against Russia. Not wishing to be alone in the war against the bloodthirsty revolutionaries, but is our nation ready for such a great tragedy or great war, really? You guys are all up here. We should finalize our defenses first so the Prussians weaken. Ah, complete mobilization. We should help our brother, Austrian brothers to war. Sure, why not? I guess we can. Complete mobilization. Mobilize way more. And get more. Wow, 50% more war support? We have like no stability too, which is not good. So, where are you guys at? You guys are down here? Well, they're not there. It's okay with us. Um, they're not here either. The goal will be to come here and just split them up through Kuhaven. I don't know how to pronounce that. My bad. We mobilize. And the Reap Saharan Mineral Deposits. The Sarah summoned many valuables yet untapped resources for us to mine and use our military. I don't know, man. Prussians not doing so well. It's going to help once Russia actually goes to war, too. Are uh, they fighting these guys, too? They're fighting the royal state of Serbia, which are a bunch of nap pops, too. Offers membership of the greater European revolutionary sphere. Oh. Well, that wouldn't be very good if they went to war with us and we don't have our defenses completely aligned. For the nation. Not bad. We can wait for the over that stuff. After this one, uh, which way do we go for land doctrine? I forget. Grand battle plan, right? 
That's what I thought. Which does grand battle plan. This is mass assault and superior firepower. So we gotta go with Charles de Gaulle's reforms. Charles de Gaulle's plans to employ the most up-to-date military metas. Ha! <laughs> metas. Uh, a combination of speed and tactics. We need to use it. Pretty much. Happy 1940, everybody. More research speed. UK embargoes Prussia. All right. Uh, throw another one down there too. I'll throw 16. There you go. Ah. Well. Here we go. French intervention in the Europa Krieg. All right. So now we're gonna have you guys go here and. Yeah. Do that real quick. We're going to definitely need way more fuel. Come down here. See what you can do about that. Go ahead, guys. Yeah, it's pretty unfair. If these guys don't have to fight Russia, that's or if Russia doesn't have to fight the Austrian Empire, it's not very fair at all. But that's okay. That's not us right now. Sure, why not? You guys, now good. Ooh, let's see, get some convoys, eh? Very nice. Austria invites us to the Second Treaty of Vienna. The Austrians have accepted our offer of a post-war equal division of Germany and help securing a perpetual peace for Europe. I did see the agreement after de the defeat of Prussia, but they have proven to be faithful and loyal allies, in which they did make a good choice. For the nation, we don't really need to do that. We're doing very well. So we'll see what it, the peace is going to be like. Propose splitting Prussia. Reject the treaty. Oh. Collapse of the Franco-Austrian alliance. And after that, you can do the flames of the fields of Algemein. Almagna? Oh. Well, whatever. Oh. The Rhine Offensive. We have marched millions of troops across the Rhine towards the Berlin and the Prussian heartlands. The French war machine shall easily route the Prussian threat. Oh. Well. I hope we get more. I hope I can go to war with more people after this one, too. Um. How far are we? It's only level two. Oh my god, we got so much to do. Yeah. Take the military theorist. Henri Giraud. They revolt in the Congo. The Congolese have revolted in the French Sub-Saharan Af administration. Labor's and miners are the backbone of the rebellion, which is believed to be funded by enemies, the Prussians and Italians. The leader has been identified as Don uh, Beatrice, who claims to be the re reincarnation of the 17th century figure that started the Antonianism. Antonianism. Stupidly advocates that Jesus is black, and that Beatrice's charisma has massively grown the movement. Now the thousands are up in arms in the capital and the Napoleon Bill. Something must be done. Something must we done be done. We must secure our African colony to arms. When are we going to war with Italy? We're good to go. Let's go, please. I want to go to war, man. Sending you guys down here would probably be a bad idea. Research the Congo, huh? Uh, oh! Nice. Uh, honestly, you probably could use you. Nice. Hello? Oh. Oh, that sucks. Uh, we lost a couple subs here. That's not good, man. My god. Fall of Berlin. Um, keep us more subs, whatever. If you are finding more subs in. Form plans, not bad. The war's gonna be over by the time we can actually do that. Oh, we're actually war with Italy now. Okay, there we go. I wonder if you guys have been sinking our ships. Subby bubbies. Ah. Uh, all right. Pressure Austria for Sicily in the Second Treaty of Vienna. Second ambitions cover Italy. Refusing to even consider claims or contributions of Italy has been discovered by our spies across the first wishes. Savage public governments in uh, all of Italy, with potentially only northwestern Italy being granted to us. We have what we wanted. Oh no, it's gonna cause a split between us. Quit 
Bus in Danzig is a capital, eh? I read this one last time. If you read this, please go right ahead. This, should, this war's not gonna last very long. And the second, Austerlitz. We should have a bypass. Second Bush War. Hey, there they go. I mean, we're literally almost at, like, Russia, too. Oh, nice. Oh, that's not nice. So far, we're doing quite well. I know we're ignoring our guy down here, but it should be okay. Austria asked for intervention against Russia. The Austrians have asked us to honor our defensive pact and help them in the war against Russia. Both of us are already at war with Prussia. We could provide valuable assistance in taking pressure off the Austrian Empire. Alright. I mean, at this point, why not? We don't have a lot of the good divisions here, but you know, whatever. Nice. Can you learn any more yet? No, darn it. Doesn't help that we have no more fuel. But we can help with that. Just a little bit. Come on. Oh, encirclements. Nice. Second Russo Ottoman War. That should help us out. Need a little bit more fuel, which is good. Ooh, that's not good. Vespesia. Any more divisions down here anyway, it's just fine, whatever. Fall of Florence, nice. I need you guys to stop. Let's hold on for now. Grab. Uh, obviously, we're good enough for now. Like that. All right. What's next? Reaps his hair and sub-Saharan mineral deposits. Second like Austerlitz. This is the first. More than a hundred years ago, the Prussians come and attacked us, and we crushed them at Austerlitz. It's time we take revenge. They hold an important piece of Germany, which we must now conquer. Greater revolt. You guys keep going there too. Probably some time to recoup ourselves just a little bit. And yeah, the Sahara is home to many valuable yet untapped resources for us to mine and use in our military. Yeah, pretty much. Serbia's so slowly dying. We're going to need way more arty for what I'm about to do. But for now, I'll get to throw on two more and throw on another arty. Ah, that's good. Throw on some cavalry or logistics. There we go. We're not gonna have enough of anything here. It's all right. Promote their dentism. We need more stability. Bear people war for the nation. Oh. Resistance growth in our states occupied. Oh, more. Oh, 110 percent. Holy crap. Russian Normandy. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! Anything else major down there? Nope. All right then. A hundred. Is it really that good? A hundred ten percent more attack. Do any more planes too? Oh, you're not doing anything over here, huh? Well, no, we're not doing as well as we probably could. Do you have any extra planes? Sort of ish. Great China War, alright. 
Hey, another tank. Yes. So that's 110 percent more attack. So my goal is just to capitulate the, the Prussians. Hey, nice. Hey, shuffle, nice. That's very good. Get them crit hits, man. They're out of manpower and fuel. They're out of guns, too. Kind of like us. Let's get Danzig. That's all that really matters. So I can ouster it so it helps out a little more. That's one, too. More division attack. For the nation. Ah! Nice. Good God, this is a mess. So you guys are great down there. Oh. I'd say we've done really well so far. Back to flying shaft. Come back up here. See what you can do. Get some more excavation. Just in case, of course. Yeah, them fighting the Pope was probably a bad idea. Ah, so now we can't help them out. That's dumb. Well, time to make him super thick. Dummy thick. There you go. Cool. Radar. Research. Guns. Trying to get some subby boys. Very nice. I'd love to help you, but you blocked us, guys. I guess we'll help out against these guys, too, if we really wanted to, but whatever. Go and train you guys. You guys head down to here, maybe? Lottie Spears? Sending these guys down here probably is a bad idea, but can we actually... Yeah, not bad. Fine. Can we get military access to Papal States? Nice. Nothing down there. And, uh, construct the Renault FT. We need to focus on speedy units that can disrupt enemy lines when wars these days. What is this? Flames on the field of Algeming. Spurred by the German fools, prepare for the British struggle. Pursuit of eternal peace. Kaltakrieg. Oh, it is gone. Can I go to war with the Pope? Alright, uh, so give Austria all of Serbia. Greece, you get all of your Greece, right? Epirus. Um, I'm gonna at least take this. Let's give the Pope. It's probably going to screw things up quite a bit, but that's alright. Ooh, I don't know if we have enough score for that one. Greece demands return to the islands. The islands of the Aegean occupied by foreign forces since Greece's collapse have been demanded to be returned to Greece by the Kingdom of Greece. If any war not given. I mean, that's fine. So who are we with now? Russia? Not 
Persian to desert, Normandy, for your dentism. Traditions have won the European front. Um, Finnish Confederation, total economic shutdown, invade Britain. Proposed Iberian unification, green open borders. Demands consolidation. Well, pursuit of eternal peace. The total, total war with Prussia and Italy has been shown the futility and cost of the war. Let's try to move forward in peace to try to promote prosperity on Europe. A polyonic superpower. That sounds like fun. Always false. Oh crap. I should not have been so nice to them. I should have been more aggressive. But there's nothing we could have done. Oh darn it. Always false. He's an overlord of the Mazurian kingdom. Well, I guess we can do this one if we have to. Call it our Krieg. Well, I guess so, if we have to. Proposing Iberian unification. Iberia used to be a strong power, united and prosperous. We should try to impress the Spanish Portuguese government to unite so that an Iberian banner can fl flap in the wind once again. The Pope got. Oh, I should not have given the Pope all this stuff. My bad. Oh well. Let's see. I see level ones, and I'm like, nope. British East Indies, why? And the Culture Krieg. Man, it's Cold War. The Austrians over Germany trying to gain influence will be grueling, but it's better than an actual total war. Dang it! I wish we actually went to total war. My bad. I want to be very aggressive, but we'll play this campaign a couple different times, of course. Um, so come included, included. The game talk about how young the French emperor is because he's only 22 years old. Nothing surpassed, though, the emperor of my country. Pedro II of Brazil became emperor of Brazil, of course, at the age of 15, took place on July 23rd, 1840. So that was a pretty young emperor, too. So he says, I don't want to complain, but why do you play as monarchists? You're always playing as napops. Because napops are fun. They cause a lot of problems in the world. At least in the, um, you know, fake worlds we live in. The fantasy worlds we live in sometimes. Or in the real world, I guess, too. But I don't know of any real napops, so. But yeah, it, it's, it's a lot of fun to be aggressive. Um, uh, let's see. And... From here on out, I'll probably start doing nations that aren't completely nap pops. So, uh, someone says, "Awesome video recommendation." Play uh, Kaiser Redux and reestablish your Spanish Empire with the Habsburgs. I can try that. And someone says, "Lots to be asking. Uh, do this second Sengoku mod." And someone else says, "Action Francois sounds like a good idea." So next time we could probably do either the democracy route or maybe even Action Francois. That sounds like fun too. So. Well, other than that, I guess we'll kind of wait and see what these guys end up doing. Carl I demands Hanover's independence. Trying to appear as a staunch ally of British interests as a, and as a benevolent representative of all Germans, we've been pressured by the Austrian government to release Hanover to the British custodianship. Uh, we wish for peace in Europe. The British abandoned Hanover. We will not abandon them. Also, right now we're doing bide our time. Now is not the time to engage in silly traps with the British. We must work towards making better Europe. Um, also, I did give all this northern stuff to the pa not from the Papal States of Algeria because I'm just like, no. But doesn't deserve that. Honestly, they don't deserve this either. You know, actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm taking this too. I should never give this to them in the first place. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this too. Other than that, I mean, the Austrians have been doing pretty well here, uh, the Tauan. Bide our time, free and open borders. We should further integrate the economies of those aligned with us by proposing a customs union that will further trade and uh, further trade and lower tariff costs. Hopefully, these guys will unite someday. But I don't know. We'll see. November reforms, path to prosperity, regency. Um, 
we did select Spain off screen to be the ones who would lead this group anyway, so. Hey, yeah, we'll see. Fighters, fighters. Ships, ships. Yes to yes. See, we are still at war, technically, with the Russian. They're about to capitulate. Holy crap. Whoa. How are they about to capitulate? They're already 88% of the cup towards there. Holy crap. How? Now nah, we're good. Just in case they want to go to war, let's do that too. Um, do desert. No, we're good. No, we're pretty good. We'll probably want to go down to like at least limited exports because I don't want to keep importing as much fuel as possible. Need more. Got to become fuel independent. Um, anything else here? Really? Need some armored trains if you really want it. We need a crap ton more artillery though. Can make more millies for now. There you go. Not bad. Yeah, they're actually not doing so well. Other than that, we're doing alright. We need more manpower, though. Hmm. Probably go to limited conscription first. After biding our time. That'd be good. Yeah. Equipment pool members, not bad. For the continental system. Nice one, lease. Overall, not bad. We got huge chunks of Africa. Uh, Roosevelt Colliery. Wow. National Renewal Alliance. Back to foreign shots looking pretty thick as well. And yeah, Second Brothers Coalition. Uh, oh, we're down here too. Oh, I forgot about fighting the Chinese. Oh, whatever. Oil processing is good. Grab some more. Yeah. And the Commonwealth up here too. So. No sign regions. Um, there you go. I technically did sign a region, but they didn't. Well, they weren't just weren't paying attention. Which is sadness. Absolute sadness. Which means we're going to need even more refineries too next as well. We're working on it. A little limited conscription. Bring open borders. Unify the continent system. Now the continent system is integrated closely enough, we must unify so that those who are subject to us shall be added to the France proper. Mm, yeah. Keep training for now. I like them nice and thick. Yeah, unify it, and then I guess Napoleonic superpower? Either by aggression or diplomacy, we have made France a global superpower that Napoleon Bonaparte once dreamed of. None shall return the sovereignty of our glorious nation with the will of our glorious empire, or they shall face the wrath of the baguettes. The wrath of the baguettes. The formation of the European Customs Union. The French Empire has formed the Customs Union, uh, European Customs Union at least, a uh, way to promote trade and further integration of the continental system, which Napoleon VI has proclaimed will lead to a new era of peace and prosperity in the continent. Its opponents, however, muttered darkly that it's just Napoleon VI maneuvering to try and further unite Europe under the boot. Oh. Oh, we gotta wait for this one then? Oh, that sucks. Uh, nothing else we can do up there for now. I guess we'll come down here and do uh, the next cursor. The French tank corps is beginning of a new age warfare. Using these metal beasts, we can make the world bow down to us. Um, is there anything else we can do about that? Peru is gone. Um, we get more stability because we can. Traditions have won. Everyone's canceled the non aggression pact. Austria has broken everything up here. There's a whole bunch. I guess after that, the art of Guerra Eclair. Well, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. We need to master the art of lightning war to destroy enemies with quick, sharp blows to the head. Sure. Um, what are they up to now? Rival France and Germany stabilizing Europe. Peace with France. Well. Okay, so they're probably stabilizing Europe. The coldest night. European game. European Peace and Cooperation Pact. New War on the Eastern Front. Ah, they once went with this one. Demands Hanover's independence? Nope. Ensure London's loyalty. Finalize Carl's dream. Huh. Well, that might be it for us here, then. Um, I hope not, but doesn't seem like there's really much else that we can really do. Which sucks. I'd like to see if we can do maybe a little bit more, but, you know, whatever. Look at see down here. Cass. Get some Cass. Um, and all honesty, there's not much else we can do since we didn't go in this route, which does kind of suck, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I do want to see this one. Collaborate with Russia. I want to become a superpower, but we'll see. And we got four days left of that one. Actually, what do they have here? Cold War Diplomacy. Defense of the Fatherland. Cold War Diplomacy, huh? Well, let's get this one done first. Cold War Diplomacy, eh? So they went down this route. The beginning of the Great European Game. 
So we went down the right. They did not send an auto. They did not do the European Accords. I'm sure, London's loyalty, so. Um, it doesn't look like they're going to be very aggressive, which sucks. They did cancel the non aggression pact, and we cannot go to war with each other. So, yeah, this might literally be it, which does suck. So, um. There's more to, we could do right now, but. Have I used Khan's commands yet? Maybe I have. Maybe I'm not. But this might literally be it for us for now. Uh, I get pretty much all of Russia, which makes sense. People cancel non aggression packs, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, you know what? Cancel non aggression pack. I guess we're not going to go to war with them, probably. So, FA. Focus. No checks. Apologies, this is going to be the end of the campaign already, which does suck. It's going to be undone. Uh, you need to file the content system. I do want to see what that says, and then Napoleon next superpower. Uh, either by aggression or diplomacy, we made France a global superpower that Napoleon Bonaparte was once dreamed of, like I read earlier. Not sure if throwing the sovereignty of our glorious nation and the will of our glorious empire, or if they should face the wrath of baguettes, like I read earlier, too, and exterminate the right threat. Jacobins of the Netherlands have won the war. We can let this scum survive. Save the troops and save the Dutch from the communist scum. So, we can read this one, but we'll read about all that stuff next in the new French army. With a newly constructed high command improvement to the military, we now possess an army that all of Europe should fear. Oh, uh, oh, the king of Westphalia succeeds from this continental system. Unfathom, unable to fathom the benefits of being integrated in the France proper. Uh, Napoleon first has selfishly forced the country to abandon us. Though it saddens us, we must unite the continental system by force. Oh, well. Oh, whatever. Twenty days. Hopefully, they don't join anybody else. Well, I guess we can go to war anyway. Wait, do we have a truce? No. How long do we have a truce for? July. Well, it's all right. Just do that anyways. Hey, at least I have one more war, I guess. You guys are down there, ready to go. Uh, you guys are ready and prime to go as well. If needed, we can get some supply through here too. I mean, I was getting ready to go to war with these guys anyways. Like, you know. Do well against them, but whatever. The last thing we'll do together. And we gotta wait a little longer. Continent system integrated. Oh, in a shocking attempt to strengthen the French Empire's position. Continent system has been consolidated. France's European subjects have been integrated into French proper. Pour la France, pour l'Europe. Oh. Oh, well, there goes Chile and whatnot. I don't remember integrating too many people here, but whatever. Operation Napoleon. Ah. Prepare people for war. Gotta wait just a little longer. Blosh. Huh. Fighters. Sure we know. After everything we've done for you, this is how you repay us. And we got two more days left. Everything we've done for you, we just want you to do well. Modern tactics. Improve the Ecole Armee. We need to improve our La Grande Ecole d'Armee. It would be the culmination of a project to get better generals, of course. Let me go to if you want. Oh. Can I give you orders? There you go. Look at that. Encirclement. Do they have air superiority? No, we do. Sort of ish. Nice. Well, they, they chose really poorly. I mean, extraordinarily poorly, so. Well, is there any way we can integrate them? Maybe not. But that's pretty much going to be it for us here today. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great French rest of your day.